Hello children, how are you all? So I am going to continue with the same lesson that is in a medieval India and the political transactions. Today I am going to start with the Mohammed bin Tughlaq. So to tell about the Mohammed bin Tughlaq, he was a scholar in Persian and Arabic languages. And he was an expert in mathematics, physics, medicines, Persian poet, uh, Persian poetry, astronomy and other subjects. Though he was a man of knowledge, he had few abnormalities in his personality. So what are those abnormalities in his personality means? He was thinking ahead of his time, over centuries ahead. Thinking is means what he is, he is not only, only think about the present, but needs to think about the future implementations, future planning, future developments of his kingdom and the people. So this is called as in a thinking ahead of his time and often centuries ahead. Okay. But, um, but because of his officials, the officials they were not capable, they are not honest, they are not loyal, they don't have unity among themselves. Because of these are the drawbacks, these implements have been failed. So this is about the Mohammed bin Tugla. And please, when we go to all these administrative reforms and all, the first you see about the revenue reforms. So in the revenue reforms, what we are seeing that is uh, an official records all the details of land of the vast empire. The land details. So the person, he, uh, he appointed a person, an officer. So the officer has to write, record all the details of the land that was implemented by the Banu, that is by Mohammed B. Tugla. And he established the department of agriculture to Mohammed B. Tugla. Various schemes, various schemes implemented to improve financial assistance to the farmers for the benefits of the farmers and also financially the Mohammed bin Tughlaq what he used to do is to financially help the farmers for say the benefits to cultivate the lands and all and not only that the farmers who had the farmers of do you know what do you mean by do a land near the rivers do that is called as an do had to pay higher tax during this time because there near the lands water is there so no problem for the farmers they can cultivate their lands and all so the one who having uh, water is available near the lands and all they have to pay higher tax to the Mohammed Bay Tughlaq the next one that is in a shifting of his capital so Mohammed Bay Tughlaq what he did he shifted his capital from Delhi to Devagiri why he why he shifted his, uh, his capital from Delhi to Devagiri means to establish his, his vast, his capital city in the vast empire. Not only that, to protect from the foreign invasions. Invasion means what? Attacks. So he wanted to protect his capital city. He established his capital city in the center of India and to protect from the foreign invasions. Invasions and what he did, and few drawbacks were there by shifting that proper precautions were not taken. I already said you, these officials were officers were not capable, they were not honest, they were not, they don't have unity among themselves. So, this leads to the anomalous common people suffered severe, severely by shifting the capital city from one place to from another place. To and next one that is an experiment of the symbolic coins. So here what is what is it? he brought he brought into circulation that is a gold coin named dinar and silver coin Adil into circulation. That is gold coin dinar silver coin Adil. And what happened after few years again he brought copper and the brass coins into circulation and minting the coins was not wasted with the government alone means the government alone is not having the authority to mint the coins the traditional families also have the right to mint the coins so totally there are four types of coins with it. first the gold coin name is dinar the silver coin that is adil after few years 
copper and the brass. The next one that is in a Decker Falls. Mohammed bin Tughlaq is implemented his administration in the areas conquered by him in Deccan. That is in the south. He had conquered the Warangal, the capital of the Kapatiyas. He also destroyed the uh, Marasamudra, the capital city of Vaisalas. Madurai in South India was conquered by the Mohammed bin Tughlaq. And um, Jalaluddin Hasan Shah named as a governor. So after conquering all these places and all, he appointed a governor as a Jalaluddin Hasan. And Mohammed bin Tughlaq is the first Delhi Sultan to establish a vast empire in India. And Mohammed bin Tughlaq organized a big army. Who? Mohammed bin Tughlaq organized the big army and in his 11 years of rule he fought 27 wars 27 battles in south india during his 11 years of rule so after that uh, after that the leads to the rise of the vijayanagara and the bahamani kingdoms that is about the Deccan Khan Falls. The next later Tughlaqs. So after Muhammad bin Tughlaq, who is that? Who ascended the throne after Muhammad bin Tughlaq was Feroz Shah Tughlaq ascended the throne after Muhammad bin Tughlaq implemented an amorous, friendly, pe friendly people friendly programs. Who? That is Feroz Shah Tughlaq. As soon as he ascended the throne, he waved off, removed, that is an Tekavi loaves. Which loaves that is an Tekavi loaves. Waved off means what removed. Tekavi loaves, those are called as an short term loans given to the poor people, poor farmers, so they can buy the seeds and the fertilizers and cultivate the land. So this one was removed. And not only that, the private mines used to tax. The private mining, the, the one who do mining, they have to pay tax. And not only that, the tax, taxes were collected for the irrigational facilities. To provide irrigational facilities to cultivate the lands and all, the farmers, what they used to do, they used to pay tax to the sultan. And next, he, what he did? He paid compensations to the uh, victims of Muhammad bin Tughlaq invasions. What Feroz Shah Tughlaq did? He paid the compensation who were badly destroyed with the attack of the Muhammad bin Tughlaq invasion attacks. And he built many cities, mosques, madrasas, dams, and irrigational canals. Jonpur, Fatehpur, Isar, Feroz, uh, Ferozpur and uh, Feroz Dabad. So these are the important cities built by the Feroz Shah Tughlaq. In that, uh, Jonpur was a famous learning center at that time and Dharmashala was also built for the benefits of the travelers. Okay children, so this is about the Muhammad bin Tughlaq and about his uh, administrative reforms and the last after Muhammad bin Tughlaq who ascended to the throne that was in a Feroz Shah Tughlaq. So tomorrow